Hey guys, it's Ben from Idiots Play Games today, giving you the Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list. I know it's a bit of a change, um, I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! for the past uh, month or so, and I feel like I've caught up to the meta. I played, uh, I stopped playing around when Lynx first came in, and I really wanted to play once it kind of settled in and everything, and I feel like it settled in. Um, you know, after Spirals got hit and all that, um, it just felt like it was just a little bit too much to play it back then, but, um, yeah. Don't worry, the DBS content's still coming out, it's just been a little bit slower than usual. Um, our editing team has just been doing th other things and everything. But yeah, um, so yeah, first off, Astrograph Sorcerer. Forbidden. I feel like this thing just needed to get hit. It was just a, it was just something that just floated too much. It opened too many combos. Um, like, you know, being able to drop like that 25 beta and then just keep recycling and everything. It was a lot. Um, what does that mean for Pendulum? It doesn't change it too much. Of course, the, like the main deck that everyone plays is going to be like a, at least a different variation. I feel like the Pendulum Sorcerers are going to come out a lot, like seem a lot more play. But as far as Astrograph Sorcerer, he's gone. Um, Masterpiece. This was like the biggest thing. Um, I didn't see them forbidding it, especially when the, the, the tins are coming out, like probably two months or one month away. Um, I actually really didn't want to see, um, like Masterpiece on, piece on this. Um, I feel like the deck itself was great. Um, I just feel like everyone was complaining about it a little bit too much. That's my opinion, of course. I know it was really hard to get rid of, but it felt really staple. It felt like something that, like, like would survive the game. I, I love the card, um, but, you know, it's sad to see it gone. Um, what does that mean for True Dracos? Well, there's a... There's a, another variation where the um, where you play all the little small guys and all that. I think Farfar did a great video on on that. I'll chuck a link in the description below about his video. But yeah, now it's kind of more like a stall stun game. Um, but yeah, it very sad to see Masterpiece go. You know, sell them now while you can. Uh, next one, the Phoenix in, uh, Phoenix Ian Cluster Amelaris. I actually don't know why this is on here. I think there's a few loops with um, Link and everything, but I never really looked into it too much. Next thing, Supreme King Dragon Starving Venom. This thing just needed to be, like, forbidden. It just opened too much up with, like, Lyrical Assyria's. Um, the thing is, like, they, they shouldn't hit that Lyrical Assyria because it's one of the main things for the Lyrical Assyria engine. Um, like, it maybe just getting rid of everything else, like, getting rid of it would have just fixed so much more. But, um, I kind of agree with just this just being banned and then keeping the lyrical or serious stuff. Next off, Ancient Fairy Dragon. Um, I, like, I still feel like this card was a fair card. I know it was like a free tower forming and then you, like, you plus a thousand off it. But the thing is, it, it, it's very, like, bear like you, you you probably just like just pipe it down with something or like be be able to destroy it with a hand trap or something like that like it didn't need to be on the list at all in my opinion but tell me what you think next off rank up magic argent chaos force i don't really care about this i know there's a loop with it but i don't care biggest thing that grass looks greener i absolutely hate that this was on the limited list to start with um i love this card um i played it in uh what did I play it in? I played it in 60 card zoo with, um, with the Infernoid engine. I absolutely loved it. Like, I think I came like top 10 in a regional. It was great. But, um, yeah, now seeing this card forbidden, you know, all my like five copies of this are just useless now. I don't think they're ever going to bring this card back. It's just way too much. But as far as like it being gone, I don't think it like stops dinos at all. Like dinos would still be able to play without grass look screener. There was a deck that like, um, like did very well without it. But yeah, it, I understand that it opened up way too much with like, um, like light swan engines and all that. But yeah, very sad to see that grass look screeny gone. It was a good card while it lasted. So back into the limiteds, uh, Dynamite Knight, the true Draco fighter. I think they could have put this in, um, like semi limited. I don't really think this thing should be limited. It, like it should have been limited back when, um, like true Draco's first was coming out. But yeah, um, yeah, as far as, as far as this goes, I think this should just be semi-limited. It's not too much. Um, next off, Gemnite Master Diamond. Yeah, this thing just needed to be limited. It didn't open up too much, but there was some things wrong with it. Chain Strike, semi-limited. Yeah, that's fair. And uh, Quillfort Towers, uh, to semi-limited, doesn't really matter too much. Like, it's no one's playing uh, like Quills right now. And Ring of Destruction, to, uh, to semi-limited. 
I don't see anyone playing this card anytime soon. And then everything off the ban list and land and dragoons is going to open up a lot for, um, for water. Um, the fact that it's at three means that it's like a three card loop now. Um, Grand Soil, I feel like this is going to open up too much. Um, I know with the Elemental Lords and like all that new element support, like you will see some play, but uh, this thing, like the, there was a lot of like OTKs with this. I don't really agree with it. I think it's going to go back on the list, but that's my opinion. Ignis Heat, True Draco Warrior, that's great. Mathematician, yeah, no, one re no one's really playing this. And Grand Mole, same thing. Compulsory Evacuation Device. Um, I see Paleo kind of taking it back, like playing a few more of these again. Um, the, the fact that Paleo can just like play very slow and play everything out. Um, compulsory evacuation device will be a great hand for it. Um, I absolutely love Paleo. Paleo is like my bread and butter. But yeah, that's it for the ban list, guys. Um, you know, I'm kind of psyched to play this game again. Um, especially with this new ban list. The, the fact that they got rid of that, you know, OTK was kind of great. I hate reversing that deck. If you didn't see a hand trap, you just lost. But yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.